Are we all ready? Yeah. Are we all excited? Yeah. Amen. Out of this call, no? In our praise and worship. Napakaganda mensahe na kaagad. And while we are doing praise and worship, the Lord really, even yesterday, His message is one. Ang mensahe niya na ako na. At kinikilabutan ako. Kasi sabi ko, Lord, ang galing mo talaga. Lord, you are good. Why? Because it's a confirmation from the, our Bible study yesterday, your message, up to now, even to the praise and worship, at yung ituturo ngayon. Amen. So are we all excited? Amen. Yes. Amen. Can we see the hands of our newcomers, please? Do we have a newcomers? Can we, can we see those hands, please? Can you, can you uh, lift your hands, please? Ah, parang wala, no? Kauti lang. So praise God, no? Ah, uh, Yung ushers, pakibigyan po sila ng jacket. Ay! Wala pala tayong jacket. So, wala pala tayong jacket. No? Wala nagtaas kaya wala jacket. So, joke lang po yun. Pampaalis ng kaba. Amen? So, sino po sa atin? Who among here uh, is already born again? Maybe one year or less. Already surrendered the life to our Lord Jesus Christ. More than, or less than one year. Meron po ba? Less than one year. Can you raise your, your hands, please? Uh, six months. Ayan. Tawad muna tayo, tawad. Six months. Parang wala, no? Three months. Alam you, brother and sister, when, when I received the Lord as my personal and Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, when I was in Abu Dhabi, that was 2003, I guess. 2003, yes. 2003. The Lord is so good to me. Amen. At mga alin po sa inyong maraming nakaka-relate dyan. Amen. When you are young to the Lord, mostly all your prayers is always answered prayers. Amen. Kasi bago pa lang tayo eh. So, pinapaganan tayo ni Lord. Amen. So that we will more and more become excited. Amen. So, those days, bago lahat eh. Of course, you receive our Lord Jesus Christ. Then, if anyone is in Christ, it's a new creation. Amen? If anyone is in Christ, it's a new creation. Amen. New amen. friends. Amen? Those friends before are no longer your friends because katumahan lang natin yung before, no? But now, there's a new friends, new breed of friends. Uh, godly friends. Not only that, you are always in the fellowship of God. Amen. And where in, in, where in your fellowship, God, the Spirit of the Lord is there. Amen. And when the Spirit of the Lord is there, there is always freedom. Freedom to worship God. Freedom to, to glorify His name. Freedom to do good works. Amen. Pakitingin niyo nga po yung mata pinyo. Pakitingin sa mata. Kahalilan pa ba? Amen. Praise the Lord. Ito ba matawa lang po para hindi tayo atapin. Alam po natin na this time, no? Siesta time. But here, this time is God's time. Amen? Amen. Amen. Can, can we give a mighty hand of praise? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And not only that, no? uh, when I was new in the Lord, I always go to the back. For example, if there's a fellowship, if, if there's a gathering like this, I want to go in the back. In a Bible study, I want to go to the back because I don't want to be pointed to be, okay, bro, can you please open, open uh, a prayer for us? So I'm scared. Natatakot ko ako kasi nag-lakjo ako eh. Wait, wait, wait. Pag tumayo po ako dito, nanginginig na ako, I'm shaking. Pero ngayon, parang hindi na ako nag-shake. It's only by the grace of God, amen? It's only by the grace of God. And not only that, ang daming pagpapala. You know, my salary before, when I receive our Lord Jesus Christ, after three months, dinoble niya. Saan ka ba bro? Saan ka ba sis? Dinoble niya yung salary ko. It's only by the grace of God. But, as the years goes by, we all know that the life of Christ is not like a bed of roses. Amen. Bakit? Even our Lord Jesus Christ, beforehand, sinabi ito sa atin. Sinabi niya sa atin, in this world, you will face many problems. But take heed, I 
have overcome the world. Amen. So glory to God. When we receive our Lord Jesus Christ, we become overcomer. So pag may problema, ano ang dapat natin gawin? Amen? We all know na hindi ba the process. And those are time na mayroon tayong problema. What is the best thing that we're going to do? Amen? Our title for today, for the word for today, is Trusting God in Times of Trouble. Amen? Trusting God in Times of Trouble. Pakasayo po. Trusting God in Times of Trouble. Amen. Are you ready, church? Amen. Amen. So, punta muna po tayo sa character. The characters are, of course, the Lord our God. He is the creator of heavens and earth. Amen. He, he was the one who promised Abraham that I will make you the father of many nations. Amen. Go to the land to the, to the land where I am going to show you and there I will bless you and multiply you and your descendants will be like the sands, numerous as the sands and many nations will bless you. That's the promise of God to Abraham. Of course, the angels. Do you believe in angels? Yeah. Have you seen an angel? Ah, yeah. look at the person next to you. Look at the person next to you. Oh, how long again? Angel in disguise. Angel in disguise. But I believe hindi lahat ng angel nakaupo at nakatawa. Today, some of them are standing and talking in front of you. Amen? You are the God. Ako, ano? Amen. Messengers, messenger to me, you know, me, Jacob. This is a messenger of Jacob. Another one is the 400 men. Ito yung 400 men ni Isao. Amen? So, Let's go to Jacob. Sining bida na niya. So Jacob. Jacob, in Hebrew it says Yaku. Everybody say Yaku. Yaku. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning holder of the heel. Or supplanter. Or to take the place of another or through force. Stealing strategy or the like. He was the twin brother of Esau. His Jacob's name was changed to Israel. After he struggled with God, after he wrestled with God and have overcome it. So, the Lord our God changed the name of Jacob to Israel. And Israel, he was the father of the 12 tribes of Israel that officially became a nation on May 15, 1948. Praise the Lord. Amen? The promised land. And on, not only that, yung pangalan niya, ginawang pangalan ng bansa. Amen? So, who's in his He was the twin, a brother of uh, Jacob, meaning Harry. Babalahi ko. Amen? Sino yung mabalahi ko sa inyo? Yung daw malabalahi ko, mabilis maubusan mo. <laughs> Observation lang po yun. Peace sa'yo, Brother Oscar. <laughs> Amen? He was the old twin brother of Jacob, who traded his bird ride with Jacob for a bowl of stew. Pinagpalit siya ng adobo, yung bird ride. Hindi po adobo nakalagay doon, nakalagay doon. Stew, bread stew. Amen. Pasok tayo sa Genesis 31, 1-3. Sabi dito, Jacob heard that Laban's sons were saying, Jacob has taken everything our father owned and has gained all the wealth from what belonged to our father. So, eto na. Meron ng issue pa agad. But before that, I will give you a, a background on that so that we will understand. But, sabi nito, <coughs> sabi ng mga anak ni Jacob, uh, sa anak, anak ni Laban, sabi nito that Laban has taken everything that our father owned. So, something wrong na. There's a conflict in their relationship. At minsan tayo, ganito rin, no? Sa ating family, nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, issues sa ating mga relasyon sa kapamilya natin. Maaaring sa ating ang sa lupa. You know, sa amin, sa, sa bataan, no? I was, um, when I was a kid, when I was a small kid, pero mga ganitong bagay. No? And you can see, if uh, those brethren who split their uh, possession, for example, the other guy will take the house and the other guy will take the land. You will see in the street, the house is walking. Naintindihan nyo? Nakakapon nyo? 
Dahil si Sophie, may bayanihan. Minubuhan yung bahay. This is mine. This is mine. Okay, that's your land. But I will take this house. Parang ganun po, no? Dito sabi dito, napagbibintangan siya na lahat daw ng possession ng father niya na nilaban, kinuha na ni Jacob. At sabi nito, and Jacob noticed that Laban's attitude toward him was not what it had been. What it had been. So may pagbabago. Probably before, when they are newly met, maaaring yung batean nila, alay, shalom, alay kem, kay palik, mga ganyan pa. Alay kem, shalom, shalom, alay kem. Pero baka ngayon, parang ganito na batean niya, brother and sister, alay ka sa'yo. Malay ko sa'yo. Ganun na lang siguro. Sama na ng mukha. Meron ng konti, no? Sabi nito, go back to the land. Tapos, tignan nyo to, uh, brother and sister. When Jacob experienced this, the, the word of God said to Jacob, go back to the land of your fathers and to your relatives, and I will be with you. Tawa nyo, Nakikita ni Lord yung situation natin, mga kapatid. The Lord knows our situation. Kung ano yung dala-dala natin. Lahat tayo may problema. Iba-iba lang ng mukha. Pakitignan mo yung mga yung katabi mo. Hindi yan problema. Kapatid mo yan. That's your brothers and sisters. Amen? Kapatid mo yan. Hindi yan problema. So, then the Lord said to Jacob, Go! back to the land of your fathers and to your to your relatives and I will be with you. Amen? So, tignan muna natin, no? Balik tayo. Ang sabi dito, go back to your relatives, to your fathers and I will be with you. But how come he can go back? How can Jacob can go back to his relatives? And Andrews Iso, ngayon, I will give you a background kung bakit hindi pwede. Amen? Si Iso, at si Jacob, they are the twin sons of Rebecca and Isaac. Amen? Tignan niyo po ah. When, when the Rebecca bore a son, paglabas ni Jacob at saka ni Isaw, si, si Jacob nakahawak sa paa ni Isaw. Kaya tinawag siya Jacob. Meaning, kill grabber. Tinawag siya Jacob. At hindi lang yun. Nung sila'y lumaki, lumaki na when they grow old, there's a time that Esau came from the hunting games. Sino yung nag-hunting games sa atin? Eh, puro lang niya na tayo Facebook. Hunting games sa, sa, sa net. So na hunting game, he was starving to death. Esau was starving to death. And he asked, and he asked Jacob, Jacob, can you give me a bowl of spoon? Sabi niya, Give me about this too. I'm starving to death. Pero sabi ni Jacob, to at least, okay, you will you will have a bowl of stew, but give me your bird right. Alam niyo po yung bird right? Give me your bird right. If I will have that bird right, I will give you the bowl of stew. In those days, sa kultura po nila, when you have that bird right, you will become the head of your uh, bread and of your, uh, what do you call the siblings? You are the firstborn, so may kapangyarihan ka. You have the power over them. You are the Lord over them. So, ganun na nangyari, no? But, eto pa. When, before he gave the ball, Jacob told Esau, swear to me first. Sabi niya, swear to me first. Sigurist na to eh. Una, because he has a good cook, he knows how to cook red stock, He offered that stone to, to Esau, but give me first your birthright. Opportunista, no? Sino po yung dati? Opportunista. When there's an opportunity, we take for our personal gain. Opportunista. Not only that, sigurista pa because he made him swear. You swear to me first so that I can get that. Yan? Nakuha niyo po? Amen. Later. Sorry. Uh, 
sorry. Maybe. Yeah, I'm very tired. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, can you give a mighty hand of praise to our new guy? Amen. So after after you get the bed bird, right? Pero pa nung yare. Eto pa. When when Isa is old, he's, he was very old, and his eyes is very thin. He called Esau, and he, he commanded Esau, Esau, come here. Go to the field and get a game for me. A game is like a deer, or they call it games. They call it games. It's a it's an, uh, an animal, but they, they they call it game. It could be a deer or a rabbit or something. Get me a game and cook for me. He said, cook for me my favorite uh, dish. It could be adobo. Amen. It could be adobo or pochero. Amen. So, so what he did, he went to the field and uh, hunt uh, a game. But uh, his mother, uh, Jacob's mother, heard of what uh, Isaac told to Esau. And uh, 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 Rebecca told to, to Jacob, Jacob, go to the field, get a young goat, and I will cook for you, so that your father will bless you. So what did he do? What? If I'm going to do that, the first will fall on me. But Rebecca told Jacob that, let the first fall on me, my son, but do what I commanded you to do. So what he did, he went to the field, get a young goat, and uh, Rebecca tender the, 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 the goat and cook and offer and told to, ja to Jacob, go to your father and give this, give this to me. So, eto na. Eto na yung sign then. So, nung, nung lumapit siya kay Jacob, ay kay Isaac, sabi niya, Who are you? I am Esau. Sinabi ni Jacob, I am Esau. Pero hindi siya si Esau, ah, si Jacob siya. I am Esau. Come here, my son, and give me my paraphrasing lang po. Give me my stool. But who are you? Again, tinanong siya. I am Esau. But there's an... Uh, oh, the voice saying that it's like Jacob. The sound is like Jacob. The sound is like Jacob, but when he touched the hand, it's like Esau. So again, he asked, Who are you? Father, I am Esau. And then he smelled the garment of, because the, the mother, Rebecca, put the garment of Esau to Jacob. So, nung, nung dumabit siya, naamoy niya. Naamoy niya, kaya nung, nung sinabi niya, Okay, my son, I will bless you. Nung naamoy niya, Here, this is my son. Esau. Ito yung ano niya. So he went to him and kissed him. And when Isaac caught the smell of his clothes, he blessed him and said, Ah, the smell, the smell of his clothes, he blessed him and said, Ah, the smell of my son is like the smell of a field that the Lord has blessed. Amoy araw daw. Alam niyo amoy araw? Amoy parang. Amoy field. Sabi rito. And then the Lord has blessed. May God give you heaven's dew and earth's richness, richness, so may ulan, at saka matabang lupa, yun yung diniklare sa kanya. May God give you heaven's dew and earth's richness, and abundance of grain, and new wine. Ang ganda ng, ng, ng blessing sa kanya, no? And may nations serve you, and peoples bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers, and may the sons of your mother bow down to you. May those who curse you be cursed, and those who bless you be blessed. And after that, Jacob went. Here Esau came. And then, he called his father. Na-surprise yung father niya. Pahil sila na-surprise after him. Who are you? I am Esau. What? I already gave the blessings to Esau. No, that was Jacob. I am Esau, father. Do you have any blessings for me? And he cried. Oh, Esau, I don't have any more blessings for you. But Esau cried out. So finally, Jacob gave him this. His father Isaac answered him, Your dwelling will be away from the earth's richness. Ayan na, malahin mo na siya sa matabang lupa. Away from the dew of heaven above. Baka napunta sa disyerto. 
away from the dew of heaven above, you will live by the sword. Akala niyo po, if you live by the sword, you will die by the sword. And you will serve your brother. But when you grow restless, you will throw his yoke from off your neck. Ang sabi rito, ayaw niya ng tulog. Yan po yung nasabi kay Jacob. Ngayon, how can Jacob can go back when Esau's arrow is at hand? Nakaugang baka doon siya ang Esau. <laughs> you know, Esau is a street food, popular street food in the Philippines, brother. Esau. <laughs> Jacob's weakness and mistakes. Let us see. Ah, okay. Sabi rito, he used his cook He used his cooking skills to get the birthright of Esau. Amen. Sino yung magaling magluto sa atin? Amen. 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 He used his cooking skills to get the birthright of Esau. He commanded Esau to make a promise. Sigurista to. Amen. Sigurista to si Jacob. He ensured that he will get the birthright. He tricked his father and connivals with his mother to get the blessings of the firstborn. Majikero, he tricked them. He tricked. He tended to accumulate wealth for its own sake. Ayan, ginalagaan niyo yung, yung ano nilaban para magkaroon siya ng maraming, maraming uh, wealth. He loved Rachel more than Leia. Parang unfair, no? Dalaway po yan sa akin, na kultura po ito ng Middle East. Sabi nito, he loved Rachel more than Leia. Bakit? Kasi in the Bible, described Leia as very beautiful woman. But Seleia described, the Bible described Leia that she has a beautiful eyes. Tignan niyo yung katabi niyo. Tignan niyo, tignan niyo. Wow! Wow! Inaantok ba yan? Mataba ni Leia yan? Amen. Praise God. We love Rachel more than Leia. So dapat pag nagmahal tayo, fair. Amen? Lalo na sa ating mga kapatira, dapat wala tayong tinitignan. Itigan natin. Jacob struggles. Tignan po natin, was forced to leave his family. When he got a conflict with Esau, he was forced to leave his family. Why? Because Jacob will, uh, sorry, Esau will kill him. When he got the blessings, when he got the birthright, in his heart, Esau's heart, he said that soon, my father will die and I will kill Jacob. Sabi niya, sa sarili niya, soon my father will die and I will kill Jacob. Kaya sabi nung, nung, nung father niya, no, ang, ang reason ni Rebecca, si Esau, nag-asawa ng mga Canaanites, and ano mo yung asawa nila, hindi ko gusto ugali. So he told it to Isaac, sabi ni Isaac, Okay, send it to my uh, relatives in Haran, in Mesopotamia. And there he could get a wife there. Kaya pumunta si Jacob doon sa Mesopotamia, sa Iraq. Nasa Kainaan sila. So pumunta si Jacob doon. Jacob went to, uh, Jacob went to Kainaan and there they met, he met Laban's family. Amen. Now, let's go to more verse... Uh, Let's go to uh, uh, Genesis 31, verse 1 to 3. Jacob heard that Laban's sons were saying, Jacob has taken everything our father owned and has gained all this wealth from what we belong to our father. And Jacob noticed that Laban's appetite towards him was not what it had been. Then the Lord said to Jacob, Go back to the land of your fathers and to your relatives, and I will be with you. Here, in times of trouble, we should remember to be sensitive to God's voice. Amen? Sabi nga natin kanina, ang buhay natin is not like a bed of roses. There will come a time, iba-iba na mamuha ng problema, that we will face a problem. Amen? But take note, brother and sister, tayo mga Kristiyano, when in times of trouble, remember to be sensitive to God's voice. Why? Because God will speak to each and every one of us. Amen? Sabi nito, because He will guide you. Sabi nito, then the Lord said to Jacob, go back to the land of your fathers. There's an instruction of what you're going to do. Sabi nito, then the Lord said to, get, to Jacob, who said? The Lord, go back to the land of your fathers and to your relatives. 
So, because He will guide you, He will speak to you and He will guide you. Psalms 119 and 1, 1, 119 verse 105, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my, my path. Bakit a lamp to my feet, brother and sister? Because if you don't have lamp in your dark times, you will stumble. So the word of God is, a, is like a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Why? Because so that we will not be misled. We will not be misled. And it's here, The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all what is written in it. For then you will make your ways prosperous, and then you will have a good success in Joshua 1.8. Next, He said He promised that He will be with us. So during those troubles, Iba-iba yung ng problema, whether you have a relative who is suffering from sickness and disease, or if you have a financial troubles or a relationship, iba-iba yung mukha ng problema. But the Lord said that you will be with us. He said that I will be with you, but you need to go. Amen? So, if He is with us, brother and sister, who can be against us? Amen? Amen? Who can be against us? He is our God, the creator of heavens and earth. No one can against us if God is with us. It says in Deuteronomy 31, 6, Paribas, to lahat. So be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and do not panic before them. For the Lord your God will persist you. He will neither fail you nor abandon you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. If Rexona will fail us, 24 hours, lang yung protection ng Rexona, but God will protect us forever. Amen. God won't let you down. Amen. Amen. Verse 32, verse 1. Jacob also went on his way, and the angels of God with him. When Jacob saw them, he said, this is the power of God, so he named that place my name. A while ago, sabi natin, during, in times of trouble, we should be sensitive to the word of God. Amen? Kailangan natin maging sensitive sa poses ng Panginoon. Ang sabi dito sa verse 32.1, Jacob also went, went on his way. Jacob went on his way. In Genesis 31.13, pakibasa po lahat ng malakas. Here, remember to obey God's word. Amen? So, Anina, remember that we should be sensitive to God's voice. Here, we should be remembered to obey God's word. Sabi nito, Jacob went on his way. Why? Because God commanded him to leave this land and go to his relative. All you need to go, all you need to do is to go. So, Jacob went, went on his way. Look at this. Do you think that's easy for Jacob to go? Where he knows that ahead of him, Esau is waiting there. At kanina nga sabi ko, tarabang niyo yung palas ni Esau at gagawin siyang Esau. So, in verse 36 of Genesis 27, 36, look at this. Sabi niya dito, Esau explained, No wonder his name is Jacob. This is after Jacob got the blessings from his father. No wonder... Why Esau, no wonder his name is Jacob, for now he has eaten me twice. Twice thou. Amen? Tayo po sa ating buhay, Christiano. Sometimes, we love that person. We almost give everything to that person. And yet, sometimes, yung sinukli sa atin, 
Parang hindi maganda. Because troubles. Even if we love, give our love 100% to that person. And yet, we receive um, um, a treatment from her or him. Nakuha nyo. First, did you get it? Even when you are in your family, in your family, you did everything for your husband or for your wife. When he comes, you prepare food, you prepare food, and yet, kumalan mga parehan. Tangkuhan nyo, wala akong naliligal dito. Lahat tayo, as I told you, iba't iba ang buwan ng problema. Amen? Nalisig tayo. Nalisig siya ni Jacob. First, he took my rights as the first one, and now he has stolen my blessings. Oh, haven't you saved eight, eight, even one blessings for me? Sabi niya kanina. Now, sabi dito sa Genesis 41, 36, From that time on, Esau hated Jacob because their father had given Jacob the blessings, and Esau began to sleep. I will soon be mourning my father's death. Then, I will kill Jacob. So, it's not easy for Jacob to go to Esau's place because Esau will kill him. But, he obeyed the word of God. Jacob went on his way. It says in 2 Corinthians 5, 7, pakibasa po na malakas. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. Nagkataon ba yung kinata natin kanina? Hindi nagkataon. Talagang, this is a confirmation that we have one spirit. Kinata natin, I will not, o kanina yung kinata natin, no? Not gonna leave my word I see. Not gonna leave my word I see. Pwede na ba? 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 Pwede We know the, Lord, the word of the Lord, brother Hugo. Alam natin ang salita ng Diyos. But it says here, we should be the, the doer of the word. Otherwise, we are deceiving ourselves. Amen? James 1.22 And Luke 11, 20, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and obey it. So when we hear the word of God, let us obey the word of God. Because we are blessed. Pakitignan mo nga yung patabi mo kung yun yan ay blessed. Tignan mo sa mata kasi nakapikip na. Gising! Amen. Next. Jacob also went on his way and the angels of God met him. The angels of God met him because God said, I will be with you. So, he sent his angels ahead of Jacob. When Jacob saw them, he said, This is the camp of God. Praise the Lord. Kampo ng tunong Panginoon. So God's presence assures him that God is with him. Kaya nga sabi ko kanina, Have you seen an angel? O bakit ibigin niyo yung katabi niyo? Angel yan. This guy's. God's presence assures him. Let her see. And he declares God's word is true because he said so. He named that place Mahane. Mahane means two camps. Sabi sa komentaryo to daw yung kampo ni Jacob na hindi dalawa. Some other commentators said it is the camp of God and the camp of Jacob became one. Nagin to so he declares that truly that God's word is true. That when he said that he will be with me, he will be with me. Church, ano man yung pinagdadaanan nyo? God is with you. And if God is with you, who can be against you? Give a mighty hand of praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Nagising din. In Exodus 33, 14, it says, My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Kaya nga kahit may problema tayo dito, nakakakanta tayo dito sa harapan eh. Bakit? Because God is with us. May mga kapatidang tayo, they're looking for a job for a long time. And almost 
they they went out to the feast or already went to feast nag nag stay pa nga yung iba sa feast for more than how many how many months eh. but when they came back here God gave them a job God blessed them and because the promises of God He will do it for you when He said that He will be with you He will be with you Amen Amen Kasi ko galing na Pinapagigit ko na kayo Verse 3, Jacob sent messengers ahead of him to his brother Esau in the land of Seir, the country of Edom, because Esau became the, the, the father of Edomites. Edom means red. He instructed them, this is what you are to say to my lord Esau. Your servant Jacob says, I have been staying with Laban and have remained there till now. I have cattle and donkeys, sheep and goats, male and female servants. Now I am sending this message to my Lord that I may find favor in your eyes. In your eyes. Beautiful eyes. He humbled himself by calling Esau Lord and himself a servant. Remember, brother and sister, when the, in times of troubles, Remember to remain humble. Remember to remain humble. Bakit? Huwag ka nung magmatigas pa. Everyone needs a Savior. Amen. Everyone needs a Savior. Everyone needs God. Everyone needs a help from God. Huwag ka nang magmatigas pa. Go to the throne of God and pray and He will answer you. So be humble. Kung hindi pa tayo humble, let's humble ourselves. When you are humble, remain humble. Yes. Kanda ng message, no? From kay Sister Lenore message up to Sister Shirley, it's a BDS, dinidiretso yung mensahe niya. Remember to remain humble. In Matthew 23, 12, pakibasa po lahat. Praise the Lord. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, or shall it will put down. And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Yan yung ano ka hapon. Sis, paano po? Paano? Ang goodness. Sabi nga ni Pastor Bong sa akin, ang relationship daw namin sa Panginoon, Christianity, ang Christianity daw, ano? Ano tawag yung bro? Ha? Ha? Ano sabi? Relationship. <laughs> Relationship daw. Radical. Radical daw ang pagiging kristyano. Ang sabi nito, whosoever shall exalt himself shall be put it down, shall be put down. And whoever humble himself in due time, God will exalt him. Praise the Lord. In due time, brother and sister, you will be exalted and you will glorify your God. Amen? Praise the Lord. Remember to remain humble. Next. He sends message of peace to Esau. Amen. Ito nag-humble na siya at gusto niya na makipagpatay. Bakit? He did something to Esau. Kaya nagkasira sila. So, brothers and sisters, kung tayo rin, for example, nagkaroon tayo ng kasalanan or we offended others, we offended our relatives, we have offended our brothers and sisters. Let's humble ourselves and ask forgiveness. Ask forgiveness. Hey bro, how about if he is not uh, asking forgiveness, say no, na offend niya ako. What I'm going to do? Don't wait for him to ask forgiveness. In your heart, release forgiveness. Release forgiveness, brother and sister. Kung may nakopen sa inyo, release forgiveness. Yung mga X, Y, and Z nyo, release forgiveness. Kung na-repent kayo ng mga relatives nyo, release forgiveness. May nakarinig ba doon sa X, Y, and Z? Para nag-ibilang. Amen. Matthew 5, then says, God blesses those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. Para pakpo ang mga Yes. The first to apologize is the bravest. The first to forgive is the strongest. And the first to forget 
For death is the happiest. Pakibasa po natin ang sabay-sabay. The first to apologize is the bravest. The first to forgive is the strongest. And the first to forget is the happiest. Putos po sa atin ng Lord that when somebody offended us, let us forgive. Amen? Forgive them. But tignan mo po rito. It says, the first to forget is the happiest. Look at the person next to you. Happy people ba yan? Happy faces ba yan? Happy. Amen. Happy. So let's forgive and forget. Para tayo maging masaya. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Come on. What's your praise? Next. When the messengers returned to Jacob, they said, We went to your brother Esau, and now he's coming to meet you. And 400 men are with him. My goodness. Sumunod na nga ako. Eto na ang problema. Here comes the problem. Here comes the threat. In great fear and distress, Jacob divided the people who were with him in two groups. Hiramin ko yung sentence ni brother Francis. Desperate people do desperate decisions. He said, he divided the people who were with him into groups and the blacks and herds and cattle as well. He thought, if Esau comes and attack one group, the group that is left may escape. Tignan mo yun? Naisip niya yun? Naisip niyo rin ba yun? Esau is coming with 400 men. Esau is not coming with a band playing. But he is coming with 400 men. Maybe maraming sword, no? At maraming stick. Para pagdating isaw ka na. Isaw is coming with 400 men. Next, Jacob is in great fear and distress. Though Jacob knows the word of God, though Jacob follows the word of God, but he is in great distress. Kaniwang po sa tao yan. Normal lang po yan sa tao. Minsan, alam na natin ang salita ni Lord. We know already the word of God. It's here in our heart. But sometimes we we fear like like the Jacob. Tapo tayo we out of focus. But church, listen to this. Even you are out of focus. Listen to this, church. God never loses His focus on you. He will never lose His focus on you. Lagi siyang nakatingin sa atin. You are the apple of His ice cream. He never loses. Next. Jacob divided these people into groups. Sabi ko nga kanina, hiramin ko yung sentence ni Brother, ni Franz, Brother Francis. Now, desperate people do desperate decisions. So he divided his camp into two. Probably, the most that he don't love, like, like Leia, okay, you go Leia, the front. <laughs> Nagawa nyo, I don't love you much eh, than Rachel. So Rachel will be here. Tama ba yun, brother and sister? No, it's not. Pag tayo mo may problema, let's, dapat magsip tayo sa Panginoon. Hindi yung gawa kagad tayo. If we have a problem, do not do uh, extreme decision. Let's seek first the guidance from the Lord. Amen? Let's seek first the guidance from the Lord. Remember, lean not on your understanding. In Isaiah 55, 8, 9, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Sabi ni Lord, go eh. Sabi ni Lord, go. Itignan niyo yung mga mata niyo, baka manakawan kayo. Baka manakawan tayo. Itignan natin yung mga mata natin. So sabi dito, huwag tayo magdepende sa ating own understanding, but lagi tayo magdepende sa Panginoon. Because His thoughts is not our thoughts, and His ways are not our ways. So are my ways is higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Next, eto na. Sometimes, eto yung misan nagagawa ng mga Kristiyano. Wala na eh. Ano pang gagawin natin? But praise God. 
Saan pa tayo pumunta? Sa Panginoon pa rin. It says here, Then Jacob prayed, O God of my father Abraham, God of my father Isaac, Lord, you have sent me. Go back to your country and your relatives and I will make you prosper. Ang ganda ng pangako ni Lord. And I'm worthy, and I'm unworthy of all the kinds and faithfulness you have shown your servant. Church, wala naman talaga worthy. There's no worthy. We are all unworthy. We became worthy because of what Jesus has done in us. He clothed us with His righteousness. It's only through Christ's expense. It's only by His grace, church. Amen? So sabi rito, When I crossed this Jordan River, but now I have, sabi rito, I have only one step to magjalang when He crossed the Jordan River before. But now, I have two arms. Ang dami niya ng pamilya. Ang dami niya ng ari-arian. Save me, I pray, from the hand of my brother Esau. For I am afraid he will come and attack me. And also the mothers with their children. Next, he admitted that he is unworthy. That is a, a symbol of humbleness. Amen? He counted his blessings. Sometimes if we are in trouble, if we are facing many problems, nakakalimutan natin that we are so blessed mga kapatid. Look at the person next to you. Amen. Are they blessed? Sa pagkipa ng mga nangyay, blessed and blessed na kayo. Amen. 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 Only by their smile, you are already blessed. Amen. Yung presensya pa lang ng pagkapatid nyo, blessed na kayo. Amen. 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 Pagpapala ka sa tayo nito, mga kapatid. We are encouraging one another here. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. He counted His blessings. So don't focus on your problem, brother and sister. Count your blessings. Si sister, he always posts in the Facebook. What? Shoes, bags. But I don't post anything because I don't have. You have a face? Mag selfie selfie ko. Selfie and post it. You are created according to His likeness. Amen? You have a blessing hindi mo nang nakikita, kala mo nang hindi. But you are blessed, brother. You are blessed, sister. You are blessed, church. Amen? He prayed a very specific prayer. Lord, bigyan mo po ako ng asawa. Nang binigyan ng asawa. Lord, bakit bungito? Lord, give me... <laughs> Lord, give me husband or wife. When God answered him or her, he or her complained. Lord, she has no feet. <laughs> Be specific, man, turns in your prayer. Like Brother Robert, is, he was praying for a beautiful wife. Amen! <laughs> it's by faith. We need to be very specific. If you want a salary, like, Lord, give me a, a, a job. The Lord answered, okay, this is your job. Lord, there's no day off. <laughs> and the salary is small. What did you ask? Job. Then I give you more. Then us to be very specific in our prayers. Brother and sister. Somebody asked, I want 20,000. I'm very specific. I want 20,000 salary. Sabi ni Bro kasi, God will give 20,000 if we are very specific. Look at this church. God knows everything. God knows your heart. Bakit? He is our maker. Amen? If He will give you the 20,000 and yet you will fall apart from Him, do you think that He will give it to you? No. no. So God is looking at our heart. If you are become a good steward of that 20,000, why not, says the Lord, I will give to you more than that. Amen. Glory to God. Let's give a body hand praise. Next, remember that God, God answers prayers. Bakit tayo tinuruan ni Lord? Why Jesus Christ taught us how to pray? Because He answers prayer. Amen? Let's not forget that God answers prayers no matter how difficult we are in our situation. Remember, church, that God answers prayer. Amen. Sometimes if you have a problem, you go to the phone first. I will call my brother and check 
if he can help me. No. Go to the throne of grace first, and he will lead you to the right person. Amen. Next. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So let's not be anxious in everything. Again, prayerful po tayo. Amen? Let's pray always. Next. But you have said, I will surely make your prosper and will make your descendants like the sands of the sea, which cannot be counted. Here, Jacob reminded of God of His great promises. Ni remind niya si Lord. Do you think that God, you can you can remind God, or is it is it okay to remind God because He already knows what you need? But here it says He reminded God of His great promise because when you reminded God, you are ministering to yourself. You are reminding to yourself of His promise. Amen. Remember to claim God's promises. What is God's promises? Ang dami nito. Una yung sinabi ka na natin, napakasimple, I will be with you. No matter how you're going through, brother and sister, God is always with you. In Isaiah 55, 10 verse 11 says, For as the rain and snow come down from the heaven, and do not return there without watering the earth, and making it bare and sprout, so will my word be which goes forth from my mouth, it will not return to me void without accomplishing what I desire. Amen. So every promises of God, when we claim, it will come to pass in our life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Remember to claim God's promises. Next, that God will prosper him. Sabi dito, John 10, 10, pakisabi po na lahat, pakipas po lahat. Praise the Lord. Parang gutom na. It says here in John 9, 10, The thief cometh not but to, for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Who is the thief? Satan. Satan. But look at this. This is the promise of Jesus in us. More than 2,000 years ago, He said that, I come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Church, you have an abundant life. When you receive our Lord Jesus Christ, you have eternal life, and you have already an abundant life. And we were, we were still here on earth. If you claim that promises, God will make you prosper. Amen. Amen. It's by faith. God will make us prosper, brother and sister. Kahit na namumunga yung mga mata nyo, God will make us prosper. Amen. Praise the Lord. Next. Remember our God, He is faithful to our promises. In verse 12, But you have said, I will surely make you prosper, and will make you descendants like the son of the sea.